Good morning. Okay, let's go. Let's learn a little bit about Sukkis. Put it on? Mm-hmm. Drushim um, Lesukkis, shh, 158 second column. Okay, the Pasuk says, of Shaftamayim, Besosim, Imaniya, Yeshua. This is about Simchas Beis HaSheva. You should draw water with joy from the wells of salvation. The whole year they brought, they used to pour the wine libations on the Mizbeach. And in many places in Chumash it speaks about pouring wine on the Mizbeach. But on Sukkot, in addition to the wine, they also poured water on the Mizbeach. This is already not even mentioned openly in Chumash. It's only a hint that Abbanus Samchu Akra, because in the Kabbanus of Sukkot, one Pasuk has an extra Mem, an extra Yud, and an extra Mem, so they learn out Mayim. But it's not clearly mentioned in Chumash. But uh, the wine libation, Nitzchayah, it was mentioned in the, in the Torah. Shiva samayim ayu v'simcha g'dayla. And pouring the water was a great simcha, derech v'shav tamayim v'sasi. K'mavur v'sukha say perek dal v'resh perek hei. V'yash l'hav, and so we need to understand, hatam lama e'na mefush b'teish v'ksav. Why isn't it mentioned in Chumash? If it was such a big simcha, such the Gemara says whoever didn't see the simcha of simcha beis hashem and never saw simcha in their days, so the tremendously great simcha. That means it was the greatest simcha ever in the beis hamikdash was pouring water. So why isn't it mentioned in Chumash? So in order to understand this, we need to first understand what the wine pourings mean. The wine libations. The wine libations. If it says in Shaftim, Hirdalti as Tiraishi. I'm going to stop my, my, my vineyards, Hamasamech Elokim Vanoshim, that makes God and people happy. In other words, wine makes Hashem happy, the Pasuk says, and makes people happy. What does that mean? Yes, you do as it's known, the Bina Ema Bonami Simcha. The Pasik says in Halal, which we're going to be saying for nine days, Eim Abanim Smecha, Eim Abanim, the mother of the children, is Simcha. Right? Which means Bina, Chachma is the father, Bina is the mother, so Bina is the level of Simcha, the Pasik says. Kya Simcha, what is Simcha? Gili Ahelem. Simcha is when a person's happy, that means there's something internally that makes him feel good. And then they reveal it through simcha. You know, they're, they're happy. Therefore, it comes in the level of bino. When you understand the concealment of chachma, that comes into understanding When you understand something properly, then you'll have simcha. Like we know, if you really understand something and you really enjoy the understanding, then you get happy. Say, so Rabbi Kiva, his, his eyes cried when he found something in Shir Hashirim, or this other Tana in the Mishnah, Mata Tosef Techadote, he found a new Braisa. He was Mamish Simcha, you could saw it, you, you could saw it. You saw it on his, on his face that he was happy. But when you don't understand it properly, it's concealed in the level of Chochma, and it's not revealed. You're not going to get Simcha. So he says, Why is Bina Simcha? So the other Rabbi explains very simply. When you understand something, bino. When you understand it properly, then you're happy. You don't understand it, you're like, duh. It's like, it's like last night, when we understood the Nila. Uh, uh, I only understood because we learned it here. Yeah. What do you understand, Nila? I didn't. What did you understand in Nila? I was too close. You are to Hashem. That's what made us very happy. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> 
‫הכין את בן הנקרא גן... ‫נקרא גן עדן על מדיסקסיה. ‫יט, בינה, ‫so from one side he's explaining ‫that בינה is a revelation of חכמה. ‫יט, other places it says ‫that בינה is על מדיסקסיה גן עדן, ‫which is דעתיקה מלובש בבינה ‫מהלם על הגילוי. ‫לכי היא אומרת, ‫והיינו על ידי השיר, ‫שיועם למעל היין, ‫which is a level of בינה. So sometimes it says that bin, simcha is, it has to be revealed like bina, and sometimes it says it's a concealment. The wine that makes Hashem and people happy, what's, why is alukus happy? Why does wine make Hashem happy? So he says wine is when you understand it. When you understand alukus, then Hashem is happy, because he wants Elokos to be revealed. That's what he wants. So when a person, when a person has wine, meaning they understand Elokos, then not only does a person become happy because they understand it, Elokos, godliness, but Hashem becomes happy. Da'ayda, which means, Ayyadeh Abin, Hashemay, Venu Masik, Dulos Hashem. When he understands the greatness of Hashem, Tis Laiv Nafshi Hashem. His soul will become inflamed in godliness, and he'll understand godliness, and he'll really enjoy it. And that's the level of yayin gashmi shegeidem gamki masimcha v'gilei ahelim nichnas yayin. And therefore, what's the inyan of wine? The Gemara says nichnas yayin yotzer sod. Again, what is wine? Al Tarab explained it till now. When you understand something that you didn't understand. which is revealing something that was hidden. So when you understand something that's hidden, that's the level of Bina. What is wine? Wine is also concealed in the grape, and then you reveal it. So what's wine? Also the revelation of a concealment. Like Simcha comes when you're revealing, that's why Simcha is very noticeable. When somebody's happy, you see it. Tainuk, pleasure on the other hand, you don't see openly. You don't think a person can enjoy something, you don't, it's not all over the face. But, but simcha, you see the person's happy. Which was also gamkin nisach hayayin. So now the Altarab explains like this. There was wine libations a whole year. But then there was wine libation and sukkahs also. In the, It also had water, but in Sukkot you had wine. So what's the difference, Dr. Rebbe says, between Nisa Chayayin and Sukkot versus a whole year? Is it the analogy of a person, He says, when a person becomes affected and happy about something, Sometimes there's a level of simcha that you really don't see. Another person doesn't see it. She had teiche rot of chedva v'simcha. He can be really, really happy inside, but vein a gilul enkel. He said, "Avolchin is bold and this mach meiz a davod." But when you become affected by it, Then you start dancing, you clap, you stop clap, start clapping with your hands. Sheni Yochernli is behested. That can't be concealed anymore. Merev Gedul is a simcha from the great simcha. In other words, even in life we see that sometimes a person is very happy about something, but they don't go around dancing and clapping and singing. So that's not a re- very revealed simcha. But then you have a guy who gets so happy, he starts dancing. That is a simcha that everybody can see. Isn't that called uh, gila? Happiness is gila, is that, gila is actually... Gila is revealed? Because they've been doing this before. In, in technically, simcha and gila is one is more He says, "Kav v'chol l'ashon av shemispal me'alukus." So therefore, Yenisa Chayayin means a whole year that he understands alukus. So even though he becomes affected from alukus, ain't so baruch hamemalukol amisev kolalmin afal bikeni behelim etzli. 
it's still the whole year in a concealed way. It's not zman simcha seinu. Sha'er as simcha misalem ba'keli. That the simcha becomes concealed in the keli. Va'keli magbilase and the keli limits it. Avo b'chaga sukes. Near the simcha sule ein kol. The simcha is revealed to everybody. Kosher b'kei keli when it breaks the keli. Mach mesreiv gedula ser as simcha v'ri begili ahelim. You have like this. Every Yom Tif, every Yom Tif is man simcha sein. V'samach to bechagach. Yet Sukkis is man simcha sein. In other words, you have to have simcha on Pesach. V'samach to bechagach will be first to Pesach Shulos and Sukkis. Yet only Sukkis is called man simcha sein. Why? Because the simcha of Sukkis is a much more revealed and a, therefore a greater simcha. <clears throat> then, then simcha the whole the whole every yom tif, and not only that every day you have ifdos Hashem b'simcha, every day you have serving Hashem b'simcha. Yet the simcha of yom tif is more, and yet even that the simcha of sukkah is even more. The Rebbe explains in Sichas. <laughs> the Rebbe smiled when he said this. We find this physically. That sukkis, which is biblical, people have simcha. But simcha's based on she'eva, which is only Allah and Meshemesina, like he said, is a greater simcha than sukkis. Then you have shmina, tzeretz, and simcha steira, which is only a minig. The whole concept of our kofis, the Alter Rebbe says in the city, is minigatic. It's an old, it's not mentioned anywhere in Gemara or this anywhere. It's a minute to have a kofis in Simchas Teda. Yet we find that people are happier by a kofis than they are even by Simchas Beis HaSheva. <laughs> and then the Rebbe said, you know, the Rebbe in Yiddish is called Einfeld, the Rebbe instituted the guy should go to the shuls on Simchas Teda, make him happy and all that. So the Rebbe said, that's not even a minute. That's something... <laughs> And yet, you see, the, that simcha is even greater than simcha simcha stein. <laughs> In other words, something, and this is what the Rebbe really asks. If sukkis is a greater simcha, Beis HaSheev is a greater simcha, why isn't it mentioned in Chumash? So the, the, Rebbe, the, the concept is because it's a lower level. It's not in Chumash. It's only halacha al Sinai. So therefore, the, it originates in a greater place. So therefore, the simcha is greater. And therefore, Shemin HaTzer, Simcha Steh, which is only a minig, is even a greater simcha. Is it because we, we were Mechadish ourselves, if it's coming from the Tafet? It says, because it's lower, that means it's coming from, yeah, not directly, it's still a minig Yisrael Tere, but it's not, yes, it's not coming directly from Chumash, clearly, v'sumach to b'chagecha, so therefore, the simcha is greater. I don't know for to really celebrate a lot of Simchat Bishra every night. Simchat Bishra, it's not true. Not true. Don't let it be true. That's issue number one. Issue number two, that Simchat is by Chassidim. <laughs> the non chassidic group is very depressing, the club. So it's a miracle that they dance. Even the dancing is... Chassidim <laughs> know that Simchat opens all the gates. Simcha prayed together is a Maimar Chazal. Oh, is it Maimar? It's not the Baal Shem Simcha prayed together? Is it? No. What? No. Why? I saw. Because if it's lower, where does it originate from? It originates from a higher place. The Rebbe always quotes the in your day the, the, the Rajbar writes that the, the Shach and Taz being a dan. Minig Noshim Skanius Tehrahi, the minig of old women is Tehra. And now that there's a few places in your day where it says really the halacha should be like this. But because the old women do it like this, it it it, it breaks the din. It, it, you do like their minig, not like Somebody once, I know the person, he told me himself, his brother told it to me. But he once asked the Alter Rebbe, I mean, he asked once I wrote to the Rebbe, there are places in Alter Rebbe Shechun that 
Rabbanim, Rabbanim Anash, the Babish Rabbanim, and talking about the big Babish Rabbanim, don't pass in like Dalta Rebbe. Many dinim, whatever. You don't pass in like Dalta Rebbe. So he asked Dalta Rebbe, he asked the Rebbe, who do you go by? Do you go by the Rabbanim or do you go by the Alta Rebbe? Like, you know, they're going against the Alta Rebbe. Yeah. So the Rebbe answered him that you should go by, by, by the Rabbanim. Because they definitely know what it says in Shukhun Aruch of the Alter Rebbe, and yet they tell you to do differently. There's a, there's a, there, when the Rebbe came out with girls benching lich from the age of three, whatever, yeah, when they begin talking, so they asked the Rebbe, and Alter Rebbe Shukhun Aruch comes out, they shouldn't bench lich. So the Alter Rebbe said, the Rebbe said well, it's for me. You don't think the Rebbe knew what it says in Shukhun Aruch? <laughs> you don't think they knew what it says in Alter Rebbe Shkhan Aruch? But nevertheless, they did it this. This is the way to do it. So obviously there's a reason for it. Yeah, but sometimes it says in Halacha that Minik Kazeh is Mashinikra, Minik Aisi is Gehenim. Minag is the same letters as Gehenim. Minag, Gehenim. So sometimes you say, yeah, people, it's our custom. <laughs> that custom has no basis in Allah, it's Gehenim. I mean, what do you mean? It's, it, it's not, you know. Not the ladies would like when, when the Rebbe was screaming about, when the, first the beginning, the Rebbe was saying about women benching lich. So, so the Rebbe said, many people were saying, it's not Aminig. Because the previous generation didn't do it. It's printed already in, in Lekot to see. So the Rebbe Fabrengit said, it's not your minik. Was it your minik to it was their minik to wear makeup and read the papers? But that you do, even though it wasn't their minik. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not my minik. Why? Because three generations ago the women didn't do it. The Rebbe explained them because they push it, barely had enough money to light the mother's candles. I didn't expect to light X, you know. But but it's, it's not my meaning. But they, they didn't read the papers and put a makeup. That's what the Rebbe said. They didn't makeup and claim to cite them. They didn't put on makeup and read the papers. But that already is okay, you know. But is the authentic, authentic meaning? Uh, this city says, says this is my meaning. That city says this is not my meaning. If there's a basis in Taylor for it, yeah. The din is when you come to a city, you have to do the minogam of the city, of that city. Okay. Um, okay, skip this parentheses. Okay, until the end of the paragraph. Oh. What are you reading? Two lines below is where it started, two lines below. Um, oh, yeah, right. Sorry, because there's another one at the end. Okay, what is the simcha? He had ash, godel, it's a big commotion. When you're happy, you, you know, you start dancing, you make a commotion. Commotion, just like a person is rejoicing and dancing. But in the Kshanis, Mach Begashmi, when he's physically happy, so Cain, Vyesim, Cain. How much more so are Din and Varika Beruchnius? Is it supposed to be in Ruchnius, Beshiras, this is Bachis of Ne Hashem? With praises and songs before Hashem, they could say, Vaifanim Berash Godel, with a lot of noise. They, they, the Rebbe used to dance a lot, some of the time. He said before he was Rebbe. So he was once dancing in 770. The Rafidic Rebbe lived upstairs on the second floor, and the base medrash on the first floor. So the Rebbe was dancing, and they sent down from the Rafidic Rebbe that he's not well and he needs to sleep, and it's, it's making too much noise. So the Rebbe took off his shoes, was dancing the whole night without shoes, because then it doesn't make noise. But he was still dancing. That's the Nisa Chayayin of the whole year. Of a Gambus, so you mean asking Gamayin. Gamayin also Yayin. 
But this, but this pouring of water, that was only on Sukkot. In other words, pouring wine was a whole year and on Sukkot. Pouring the water was only on Sukkot. What? Pouring wine and pouring water. No, we don't have a Mizbeach. Dancing it, dancing you do. You can't pour water if there's no mizbeach. What are you pouring in somebody's head? I mean, you could. Every Jewish heart has a mizbeach, so you could pour water <laughs> in somebody's head or get to the heart, hopefully. Dance, what? Dance, you saw the Rebbe dancing? When? Where you have coffees? Of course, that was there many years. And he just went in a circle. No, that was only his hakafer, first and last. But by, by the rest of the hakafer, he used to buy his place. And dancing. He was not dancing so much as, you know. Oh, yeah. That's what he's asking. Did the Rebbe really just dance? No, I'm saying it's Rebbe. He did that, but I'm saying before he used to dance. Oh. Um... They poured water into this container, into this thing. So therefore he says like this. What's the union of wine? We learned this bina. What's the level of mayim? Mayim is tasteless. You don't understand it? That's the level of the Chochmah. We know Chochmah is Mayim, and Bina is wine, because Bina you understand, so there's Simcha. Chochmah, you don't understand anything. So Chochmah, we know, is higher than Bina. So therefore, pouring water is a level of Chochmah. Pouring wine is a level of Bina. So therefore, wine, I mean water, but Lecheda, it's not the level of Simcha. It's Chochma. Because this is the level of Kainim and Levim, like it says in the Zaya. The Yayin Misitra de Livoyoso, that wine comes in the side of Levim. Misitra de Kano is Yayin Slila Nihidin. Okay, he says. By Koyanim it was clear, versus by Levim it was wine. Because what's the nature of water? Water always goes down. It doesn't go up, it goes down. That's the level of Koyan. The Hashpa of godliness comes into the Koyan Gadol. And then from the Koyan Gadol it goes all to the, all the other Koyanim. And from all the other Koyanim it comes to us. Misham lechol hakoyanim, k'mayim merazalik. The Chazal tells us in the Gemara, koyin gadol neitel chelik berosh. The koyanim, the koyin gadol, whenever they divided any of the things, you know, the, the, the gifts he took first, that's Reishu Mashpia. The yain and bechinas levim, which is Allah mimakim gamanamach lemakim gavayim ahead, and it says laimar kol berosh to have this. Tumul with uh, 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 this voice with tumul, the shiru is galas kambali a shir yaitzim a shir. Okay, see so what? How does wine go up? Um, no, no, it's a different thing. I think. One second. Yeah, it, it, it's, it seemed out Rebbe saying because Yayin is Simcha, Simcha is a revelation that you're revealing yourself. Mayin is quiet, you know, goes down quietly. That's the Abed of Kren and Bachashoi. Like he said, Bachashoi Kren and 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 Bachashoi Kren the Levium sang the songs, yeah? Where did they sing it? On the steps. So the Levium went up to sing Shira, which ain't Shira la Yayin. So therefore, it's the level of going up. Water, on the other hand, comes down. But the bottom line is, Kayanim are much greater than Levium. 
So therefore, Chochma is higher than Bina. So Nisachamayim is greater than Bina, wine. Connect you and serve you. And therefore, Nitzach Hamayim is much greater than Nitzach Hayayim, because wine is a level of Simcha Bina Levim, and singing Shir. And Kayanim, Nitzach Hamayim, is a much greater level than the, than the Levim.